Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is about my van. So I bought some springs and I put my uh, X5 wheels on. And I bought the, uh, not knowing, didn't really look into the reviews because I thought springs were going to just be springs. I didn't think they're going to be different, sort of like make it stiff or as you can see I'm bouncing around, that's why I'm pointing towards me. So I bought the Amax lowering springs which are apparently 35 mil which actually turns out to be 60 65 mil so the van is low which i'll show in a sec uh, and the drive is horrible i've done managed to do 2000 just over 2000 miles and if i go over this bump now it's a small bump in the road look at that it's fucking I didn't mean to swear. It is horrible. Another bump here. Just, you just feel everything. It's almost like there's no, just, it's, it's almost like there's no spring. It's, it's just like it's, and it's not on the bump stops because I've, I've trimmed them down. It wasn't hitting them anyway, but just in case I just trimmed them down. So now I've bought new ones because I like everything being, because now I've bought H&R because uh, I, I put a post on there on this uh, Vavalo group a lot of people going on about the H&R but then I just after I've ordered them and I hope it's not right a couple of people said I've got them and it's not for me so they just landed now these H&R springs so now I'm like thinking do I send them back get me money back or do I fit them I'm going to take my chances I'm going to fit them apparently it doesn't sit quite as low uh, so if you go if I go under the van the spring in the back is really compressed and it's like one coil that's actually working so I think that's why uh, it's so stiff and bouncy what's this jump what's this? I keep living that it's supposed to be a work van I don't know if you can see that on the camera but that was just a little dip in the road look at it another dip in the road these are just minor little tiny dips in the road seriously because I wouldn't go over something too big because I'm running 45 uh, profile tyres so I don't want to ruin my wheels so I'm literally uh, you know I'm not going anything no, no big little bump I don't even know how I'll coat this long it doesn't it doesn't even really change the handling because the handle not so bad anyway with standard shock you know standard springs it does feel like it's just like like I took the springs out and put some 3 2 in there or something in its place. Honestly, I'll, I would not do not buy Amax springs. They're 89 pound on eBay, and they are look at me bouncing around. They are horrible. But at first, it was like because I, I, I used to lower cars when I was younger, and it like reminded me a little bit of that. And when I first went out, I was a bit shocked. I was a bit sort of disappointed as well, but I thought, yeah, I can live with this. You can't, you can't. Because when you go through the little roads in Hull where I live, like, like where I work, Chester, and you're going over little minor bumps and stuff, you're always looking around to make sure there's no big massive dip. And the speed bumps are actually botting out. So, Blaken in Chester, which is a little town, I do a bit of work through there. And, I, and the other day, I was actually for nothing there, and I literally, my subframe, or well, the bolts off my subframe were hitting the speed bumps and it was a white bang and it just makes you you like that when you go with the speed bump so do not buy these springs in fact you know what just leave your van alone because that's how i'm feeling right now I'm, I'm i'm seriously feeling like that and i'm almost putting the standard going back into chester to my lock up and putting my standard springs back on because I don't know if I can just I don't know and my wheels as well and starting to lose interest I love the look I just wished it drove the same the look of it the way it's dropped but the for practic practical driving if it was just a day van or something go to shops bit of shopping bit of camping bit of fishing go to gym it'll be all right but for every day like I'm almost like a taxi driver because I do big jobs and also do maintenance I'm about to go down my street now where there's a speed bump and it's not a big speed bump but I'm literally doing I've got a digital speedo as well as a normal one I'm doing one mile an hour 
Come on, watch, watch. <laughs> That's three mile an hour. I can normally do 20 with standard wheels and springs, and I'm doing three mile an hour. So I've got, I've got the second one now. I don't know if you can, I hope you can see this. This is the second one. So now I'm doing three mile an hour, watch. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, guys. It, it is really that bad. I've got a drive that's dropped. I'm about to go on it. It's got like a slight little curb. <laughs> Why? How are they getting away with it? Have they not tested their product on a van? Because tell you what, right? If I'd made something, if I'd made something on my van, uh, uh, if I'm, if I like manufactured something and I tested it on a vehicle, I would not sell that product. I tell you now, because. And they have got bad reviews, and I don't know how people, they need to be stopped. Because it wouldn't even be good as a race, a race van. It would be absolutely dreadful. So I'm at home now. This is how bad it is. I should be in work. It's Tuesday, and, I, and it just landed about an hour ago. I finished off a job, and I thought, you know what, I, I, I hate it that much. I'm going to go and fit it. I'm going home to fit them, because I hate it that much. So, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here we are. I've got my springs. I've got back now to open them up. Get a bit of confidence with, with where they've been manufactured, which is Germany. It's the obvious, but... So normally stuff that comes from Germany is quite good. Not Chinese copies or anything like that, so... Yeah, these were £240 from Euro Car Parts, but I got it from their eBay account, which was the same price, and they were delivered in three days, which was not too bad. So I must have had them stocked in the UK. This is my van. So you can sort of get a see of, let's see if you can see the difference in the difference when it's lowered. So I'm going to measure it as well. <coughs> it's apparently a little bit higher. So to the arch, 715, which is the rear, and the front, 680, just under. So it'll be interesting to see. Oh, no, few what pit people sent me on the box or the Barbo Club is they looked at it, it, it looks like it sits a little bit higher with these springs. So, I mean, I'm, I am gutted it drives the way it does because I love the look of my van as, as it is. Just wished it drove a little bit more softer. And you know what? I, I know Lona, any, any vehicle is going to make the, the, the drive a little bit more harsher. I've never had this, it just brings, it's almost like I've done the shocks as well and made the damper, you know, they, they put real stiff shocks on, which I've done in the past, because I used to do a lot of track cars, and when I've lowered my uh, old XR2Is, God, I love them cars, when I lowered them and put uh, shocks on, it uh, made them quite stiff, not as stiff as this though, this is just ridiculous, so, yeah, I don't know if it's like, because it's like, so low with the springs compressed. I mean, I'll show you the spring actually in the back. You'll see how much it's compressed. Look at that. So, the only thing that's working really is what two coil. So, out of all that spring, I've got two coil that's actually doing its job. So, this is probably why it's so stiff. Because there's absolutely no work at all in a lot of that spring. You see that? So that can't be. That could be. That must be the reason why it's so bad. Because normally when I've loaded a vehicle, it's not done that to the spring. So they might as well just put like one big massive like block of metal and then two coil spring. Uh, it's got to be the reason. In fact, look at that now. The H&R. They look slightly thicker. So 
maybe that's why it holds the vehicle a bit better. No, I don't know. Yeah, they do, maybe they are a little bit thicker, but they look better made. As far as, you know, if you can make springs any better, but they just look and feel a bit better. I don't know. I'm hoping. If it, I tell you what, if it is bad drive, I'm putting the standard springs back on. So this is not worth the look because that's all I'm doing it for is the look. I'm not doing it for handling. You know, it's not the fastest vehicle in the world. So you know, I'm not. I'm just doing it because I, I like the look. That's all I'm doing it for. But if it, if it comes with this bad drive, it's hard, harsh, horrible drive. And when people get in it, everyone always comments and goes, "What the hell's going on with this van?" It's really harsh, and, and I'm like, oh no, yeah, I've lowered it, you know, and I feel kind of stupid saying it. So, right, I'm going to crack on, I'm going to do the back first, because that's the easiest. I like doing the easiest first, because then it feels like you're getting somewhere. <laughs> so, but I reckon I could do it in about an hour, two hours. It's not that, not that bad a job. So... I'll do a little video, sort of like, I'll keep I'll keep recording for it. I'm not going to do a how to do, because there's plenty of that on YouTube. So, this is just my review on this, on these springs. And hopefully, them are going to be a winner. So, let's see. Okay, so I've got the back end jacked up. Took the uh, AMAX springs out. Got the HR springs. I next to each other and are almost identical so I've not got much confidence in this so height wise the same and also I check the fitness 14.77 so what what makes these a better spring oh, I don't know what to do I don't even know if I can return them I haven't got much confidence in this at all that looks like it's going to do the same with the AMAX spring does and compress all the way and just rely on these two here this little one here so that's what was happening before as we've seen previously you could just see that there so the weight of the van I can just see that compressing all the way and just rely on these two. I have not got much confidence in this. I think it's going to be the same, if not. Probably a little bit better, but... Man, I spent so much money on these things now. I'm like 300 quid in now, aren't I? And I've got a van that dries like poo. So... You know, I was expecting, I was hoping something different, but... It's almost the same, man. Not liking it. This feels like a waste of time. So, I don't know. I don't know. It could be different material, different metal. They might not compress as much, but I've got a feeling they're not, they're not gonna, they're gonna, the little gap here, they're just gonna compress just like this garbage. So, throw them in and see what happens because I don't think I can return them anyway <sighs> oh well let's see eh let's see alright so I've done the uh, done both the back I've just done the front driver's side and uh, that's the that's the spring which was exactly the same as the yellow so you've got this gap here, gap there, but you've also got a gap at the top. I've just checked the bump stop and I've got about two inches of play um, of bounce. So, hmm. I mean, I took, I took quite a lot of the, of the bump stop off, but bear in mind, I, I did notice I didn't cut enough off before, so I've cut, cut more off. And I left about an inch and a half of bump stop. So surely it can't go much more than that. Hopefully, see how it goes. 
but yeah, that, that, so remember if you do put these yellow ones on, or the blue one, if, I, I reckon if I left, left it longer again, the blue and the blue one, because it's not, it's not raising that much really, 15 mil, look at state of that, so that's probably why the front end was so stiff, it's just sitting on the bump stops, even though I cut a bit off, there's still more to go, so, uh, so yeah, uh, the back end wasn't too bad. It's the front end. It's uh, obviously because the engine maybe it sits a little bit. I did notice the front end sit sit did sit a little bit lower than the back end. So that made that probably made the big the, that bit of difference. So so now that we removed more bump stop and put better spring on, I've got a little bit of hope. Just just a little bit of hope that we're going to get somewhere somewhat a little bit better drive. Hopefully. Um, I will take the pasta side off and I'll, I'll video the bump stop and what, what you need to do with that. It just slides off the pin, the shock, I want you to dismantle it all. Um, yeah, so I don't think, I don't know if any of that you know, modification sort of thing to your shock is on YouTube. So I'll, I'll do, I'll get the other side up, jacked up now and uh, I'll add that onto this video as well. So I've just got one more shock to do. Uh, it's amazing how quick you do this once you've done it. <laughs> several times because you know, I've, I've, I've done it with the yellow ones and it it, it was hit, I, I knew it was hitting the bump stop so I could feel it so I took a bit more bump stop off and obviously it was still sitting in the bump stop so I was trying to I was trying so much to save these yellow ones Amax uh, it wasn't a few money really but I just I, I wish I went for them now but I didn't think you know you need to Obviously, it does. It does. It does make a. It does make a difference because when I just lowered the back end before, it did sit 15, 18 mil higher than the yellow ones. But bear in mind, this is going to drag it down as well. So once I get it all, and then you've got obviously spring settle, which if you're an old boy racer like myself, was a good thing back in the day because you lowered your car, and you'd say to your mates at the car park, "Yeah, just lowered it," but I've got spring settle yet. You know, it's going to get lower. <laughs> no, I don't want spring settle. I want it to sit a little bit higher. So, I think the thing with these springs and even with these these uh, H and R's, and I know it, I looked at the small print at the bottom and it said it is. Um, it was an accurate drop, so they even said that. And you see, it says it. I don't know. I don't know about the Emacs, but I looked into these a bit more. Because I was buying them, uh, I didn't really look into them. I just looked into them a bit more. Because obviously I've been stung once. I didn't want to get stung again, so I looked at reviews. I put a post on the Vauxhall Vivaro Club, as many you know, many of you know, uh, and they don't drop what you want them to drop. So that says 35. That's clearly not 35 mil if it's hitting bump stops. So that that was more like 60, 65, and apparently these 30, 35. I think these were 35 mil are more like 40 mil that the feedback I've seen so yeah I mean I remember when I used to drop my Vauxhall Astra GTE and my Calibras and the XR2i's you bought the spring and it did actually drop it that much so I don't know what's going on <laughs> maybe they struggled with the weight of the van maybe they didn't do many uh, prototypes they just throw them out with different ratings on them I know they've got different ratings on different springs and you know obviously clearly being the same because the back end did sit higher uh yeah but the blue ones are compressed just like them they, 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 they did exactly what i thought it would oh it's not going to do it i'm not going to see it now because obviously we've got we're, we're, we're on level but uh when i've got it all level and i'm going to take it for a spin and hopefully i'm smiling like i said i don't mind a bit of stiffness a bit of harsh riding but the way it was before was unbearable it was you know there's just no spring i might as well just took the spring out and stick a 3 2 in there a piece of metal and weld the shock up that's what i felt like i was doing the bounce that i had felt like i got it from these tires which isn't much literally so that that's that's how i felt that's that's that was the deal so um, stuff's getting wet here and start doing it right i'm gonna get this wheel back on I'm going to do the other side. So, I've uh, got a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. Okay, so, I got the other side off. 
and it has, I, I cut one, there's, there's, a, there's normally four of these uh, springy rubby bump stops and I cut one off thinking that'll be enough but clearly it wasn't because it's been hitting, you can see quite a lot as well and it's been hitting there as well, almost like it's resting on it probably. Now I don't remember feeling hitting it but there is some kind of springish so it wouldn't be like a bump stop when you hit it it wouldn't be like boom but it it could have well been sitting on it so yeah so and it also on this side the other side is all right but these were brand new 2000 miles ago so it's not it's not done it any justice has it having these springs on that's 2000 miles and that needs you know, it's, it's still working and it's smooth but it's the seal that's gone. So it's took a took a bit of beating with these uh, springs on. So uh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna carry on with these blue ones. Seeing stuff like this. No bearings and that, I just don't to think, is it worth it? It's a work van, it's not my daily, it's a work van. I don't want it going wrong all the time and knocking up and doing steering bearings because the heat when they go, they're bad enough as it is. So I've shortened the life of, you know, serviceable parts, which is annoying. Um, so I'm going to shorten this another one, I think. Even though I've lifted the van a bit more, I might just take one more off. It's pointless taking two off because there'll be no spring action if it does bottom out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take one more, one more of these uh, bungy things off, and uh, and then fit all together. So because I've got load of springs, took them off and put new ones on. I didn't have to get spring clamps, which is a bonus. That's one good thing that comes out of lowering springs. You don't have to spring clamp it up. You just See, your spring goes on there, this just simply slides on over that rod, so your spring's on, remember. Uh, then you put your, your top cap on, like so. Then your bearing, which has to be a certain way, so keep a note of which way it comes off. Spacer. On your 21mm nut, that's it. It's not rocket science to lower a vehicle. I'm doing this on my 17. Anyway, so uh, right, I'm going to get this the other spring on H and R, and that's the speed bump that went over before that felt like I went over a mountain. And uh, um, let's just hope that it's not. You know, like I said, this is giving me a bit of hope that it was sitting maybe or being close to the bump stops. That could have been causing a lot of the uh, discomfort of the drive. The front end was stiffer. The front end was horrible. The back end wasn't so bad. It was more the front end. So this could be the answer. Right, let's push on. Well, what a difference! I can't believe using different springs can make such a difference. I'm not tickling the flop or not thinking am I going too fast for this road it just feels like my van again yeah it's a little bit stiff still a bit you know but it's not like harsh you know see you know, why I'm going over a real bad road at the moment but before Jesus Christ I'd have been like this now and it felt like it was damaging my van now it's just like it's made it a bit more boaty again which I don't like but I could have been sitting on them bump stops if I'm honest on the front end. Because I'll tell you what, it's, it, I can't believe just springs can make that much difference. So I think we've got a mixture of bad springs and then bump stops in the front. So I probably, got a, probably got, could have got away with that, but to be honest, it was too low anyway. But before, I'm, you know, it feels like I've got my van back, it feels like I'm driving a van again. Not a race car, Formula One. Um, you know, I, I, I can go 
over those speed bumps, which I'm going to do in a sec. Which before I, you know, I struggled going faster than. I'm not joking. You couldn't go faster than three, four miles per hour. Now it's just it's just like a normal van again. I'm doing. I've got an extra speed though with the G, so I'm doing ten mile an hour. It's a no-brainer. Couldn't do that before. Someone in the way on the good old chit chat, but yeah, I, I don't have to go over them speed bumps anymore. This is that speed bump again. Do you remember before when I just couldn't get over it? Look at that, yeah, it's, okay, it's bumpy, but I'm not like you know, breaking the, I feel like I'm breaking the van going over it, like <laughs> just massive difference. Worth the money. I had my delts, but um. Definitely worth the money. It's not catching either. It did catch a little bit, see, on full lock, but now it's not. That little bit of a lift. Look at that. So I've got me full lock again as well. Even more of a bonus. No, not on that side. <laughs> so driver's side still catches a little bit. But passenger side doesn't for some reason. Maybe the maybe a plastic needs clipping in or something. I'll have a little look at that in a minute while I've got the jack out. But yeah, so I mean yeah, I got I got um I got spring set all yet. A bit could be in wet and fucking oiled up. So let's have a look outside, eh? Let's see what it looks like now. So yeah, it still looks cool. It's not as low. But you know what? It's I still like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I've obviously got spring settle to go, but it still looks like a sweet van. What do you think, guys? I still like it. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I like it. I can't be even saying it, but I think I like it better. It just looks... Yeah. At least it's not going to catch them. Bloody speed bumps. Should we get the measure on it and see how much we lifted it for? I can't. Going by memory now, no, I see, so. Let's see. So I think the back was. 70. 710, 715. So gone up about. Gone up quite a lot, actually. 15, 20 mil. I'd say. I'm going by memory now, so I have to watch the video again. What was the what was the front? I can't remember. 67. Six hundred and seventy, I think it was the front. And then now six hundred and eighty. So I've gone up I've gone up twenty mil. So yeah, so twenty mil rise. So it looks more like I'd say it probably is a 40 mil drop overall from standard. I'm glad I didn't put the standard springs back on now. I'm glad I got down. It's making me wonder now. Was it on the bump stops? But I did have I have seen online people did remove the bump stops and still was a stiff ride. So but yeah. I made up with that. So one happy man here. I am made up. So uh so that's it. On the back end I'll show you the springs compressed, which obviously doesn't really matter. I don't know if the standard ones are, are like that. I couldn't imagine them being like that. But they are compressed like I thought they would be. Same with the passenger side. And obviously the front end, we did that before. So the middle of the front end are compressed, but the top and bottom is a bit of a gap. So I just can't remember what standard springs are like. Do feel free to uh, comment if you don't mind having a little look for me. Just interesting to know. Um, I, if you're wondering about load, I, put, I did a fencing job and I, and I managed to get quite a lot of weight in there. So I got um, four uh, kickboards, 
five posts and then I put four fence panels on the top, five by six fence panels on the top of the van. And also I got a, I think it was 12 concrete post um, mix in the van. And it did drop a little bit, but I was still able to drive the van, no rubbing. So now that I've raised it another 20 mil, I could probably you know, easily get away with a little bit more than that. Um, but no. And again, I, I always fear with vehicles lowering them because I like the front end to sit a little bit lower than the back end. There's one thing I hate, I used to get this sometimes on lowered vehicles, the back end would sit lower. And I, I always like, I don't mind the front end sitting lower, it just gives it that fat look, especially when you've got offset wheels. But when it sits like this, it just looks like you've always got weight in the back and I just hate that look on cars and vans. So it's got that look again. The front end to me looks like it's sitting lower than the front end and I don't mind that. Some people may say they like the preferred level, so do bear this in mind, it does not sit level. Because that's definitely sitting lower than the front and it is the back. But it's good in the van because it allows you for loading. So it's not too bad. And you know, I've got my trap bike. So I always carry two trap bikes in the back. And I have had the two in the back with all my gear. And it still didn't rub on those yellow ones. So uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll put this video together now and I'll see if I can post it. By the time you read this, it'll be posted. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, guys.